Coming to university in the fall is going to bring many changes to your life. One of the biggest changes is that you'll finally be moving away from home. This opens up whole new avenues of independence and social experiences, but also new challenges and responsibilities. Searching for a place to live can often be time-consuming, hectic, and frustrating. Not to mention that housing for students can often be unreliable, expensive, and inconvenient. Fortunately, for students coming to Waterloo, there is an alternative. It's called Waterloo Cooperative Residence Incorporated, WCRI, or co-op as most of the 972 residents who live here call it. WCRI is ideal for students. Reasonable rates combined with an ideal location and a community social atmosphere make it one of the best alternatives going. Also, as a member of co-op, you are part owner and part operator, which means that you have direct input into how the place you live is going to be run. But what is Waterloo Cooperative Residence all about? What really makes it special? WCRI was started over 25 years ago by students just like you who wanted an alternative to the standard housing that was available to students. Co-op is run on the Rochdale principles of cooperation. Each resident is a voting member of the co-op and has a direct say into how the residence will be run. All members are required to put in a few hours per week in work duties, which could involve anything from washing pots and pans, to maintenance, to management, or writing for the co-op's bi-weekly newsletter, Toad Lane. A board of directors is elected by the membership and consists of members who oversee functions such as the annual budget, legal matters, and general supervision. Because you elect the board of directors and choose your own managers, you, the member, are able to directly influence what happens to the place you live in. I would definitely recommend it, at least for the first few years of university, because you don't really know how to get around the city. You don't really know. I mean, you're, you're so, you have to catch up with all your coursework and stuff like that. And being close is, is such a big advantage because you don't have to worry about not having groceries for, you know, for so long and, and not, you know, and spending $100 every two weeks on food on campus and stuff like that. The thing is the togetherness, the fact that everybody tries to make this place a better place. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's run by students and people seem to respect the place a little bit more because they partly own it and partly uh, uh, run the place. So. And what immediate benefits will you get from all this if you choose to live at co-op? The most obvious benefit is the cost. Because many of the day-to-day -day operations are performed by the members themselves, costs can be reduced and therefore occupancy fees are lower than comparable types of housing. Co-op's location is also ideal. It's directly across the street from the University of Waterloo's campus and not more than a 10-minute walk to most of your classes. And it's only a few blocks or about a 15-minute walk from Wilfrid Laurier University. This means no long walks to classes on cold winter mornings and no added expenses like bus fare or cab fare. Co-op is also a two-minute walk from a large plaza area with numerous stores and restaurants. Uh, my work duty, I like it. I'm, I'm writing with the, uh, the paper, the Toad Lane it's called, uh, and I just write articles. It's, uh, I get to do it once every two weeks. Uh, I get to write whatever I want, and uh, I, don't, I don't mind it. It takes up a little bit of time, but I mean, it's not much. It fits in. It's great. Um, well, when I first heard of them, I just kind of, you know, was a little bit thrown back. But um, they they turned out to be okay. There's pots, dishes, serving, and you know, just mopping or stuff like that. And actually, they they work out for the better. It's a lot. It's a lot easier to meet people that way, and uh, you get to like meet different people that maybe not on your floor, you just do the work duties with them. But what kind of accommodations are there? Co-op provides a number of different types to meet your specific needs or desires. There are three divisions of dormitory style accommodations with both single and double rooms. Each floor also has a common room where members socialize, watch TV and cook food. Four divisions are self-contained apartments with one to four bedrooms in each unit as well as a kitchen and a common area. What if you don't happen to like cooking or would prefer not to cook for yourself? The residence divisions all provide meal plans prepared by professional cooks with an interest taken to both health and taste. 
For vegetarians, a special meat-free meal plan is available as well. And if you enjoy cooking, the apartments all have kitchens supplied with fridge and stove. However, it is possible to live in one of these accommodations and still be on a residence meal plan. There's, uh, I think, a staff of about 15 in all. And they run all the paperwork, sign this, or just uh, checking up on the students' credits when they apply for, for residence here. And uh, also a full-time crew who does all the lawn work and all the, all the major renovations. But uh, a lot of the, a lot of the uh, smaller tasks, the students perform themselves. Okay, uh, we have chefs on staff and there's a whole kitchen staff over at the office there and they cook lunch for us and dinner for us every day and we also have food managers who go down we have a stock room downstairs full of food and they go down twice a week and fill up their baskets and bring it up to each common room and kitchen and fill up the cupboards with lots of food and we can just help ourselves to that what kind of social life is there at co-op because of the unique community-like structure of co-op there are numerous outlets for social activities WCRI also has its own special committee, which organizes events such as dances and barbecues for the members to enjoy. The social committee, like all other committees, is made up of students who are also living in the co-op. If you're coming to Waterloo in the fall and are concerned about finding a place to live, WCRI has the solution. With the best of every world to offer, there is no reason to look any further. WCRI. Make sure you write or call for an application now. WCRI, the Waterloo Cooperative Residence, can make your stay at university more than just an education. We all, we all do our grocery shopping together and we all cook together, the four of us. Actually, um, the, we sometimes cook for neighbors and our neighbors cook for us too so we have um, a cooperative thing going between our neighbors below us and the neighbors across from us. I found I, I learned a lot. I, I didn't know anything about running a business before I got here. Now, I mean, I've been involved in running a $12 million organization. It's changed me. I'm a changed man. So come on.